The University of Idaho, through its professors and programs, will open up people's minds. I think we expose students, graduate students, undergraduates, and frankly faculty as well, to different ideas coming from all different sorts of places. And that's where I think a college education is all about, is open to different ideas. You don't have to agree, but you can at least hear them out and see what's there. We don't just give recipes and say, you do this the rest of your life this way. Because as we know, ideas change. They change rapidly over time. Some things in horticulture have changed, some are the same. But we give the students ideas to think about. That is my role, I feel, as a graduate advisor, is to think about other things. The students are thinking about new ideas, some ideas outside the box, but mine is to what's been tried and true, what's, what can we add that's new that's going to make sense to this story. Because really, graduate research is a telling a story. And, and all research is telling a story. And those people who tell the story the best are most successful at it. So um, the idea is tell a story, but you have to have the backing for the story, and that's where the research comes in. What has worked, what hasn't worked. What makes sense to test, what makes sense that doesn't make sense to test for a research project. But graduate students are very important in my program and in any program they should be considered important, mainly because they bring new energy, new ideas, and new focus. Uh, I like to say my graduate students have dragged me into the 21st century by, with their ideas and what they want to do and how they do them. So uh, I think I provide a background and a basis, but they help bring new ideas and help um, bring those new ideas to light and either prove them right or wrong. And that's the fun thing of teaching is students suggest some very unique ideas that, you know, they're just crazy. Something, some people might think it's crazy, but it might work. And that's how discoveries are made. So with this plant science department, we are a blend of disciplines with plant with biotechnology and genomics, plant genomics, along with cron, uh, crops agronomy and, and horticulture. We have a unique blending of, of faculty members so there's some strengths when you have a graduate committee and you need ideas to tell your story and what should be tested or not tested. We have a unique, thing, uh, unique aspect that we can put in for graduate work that way. Also, uh, Idaho, because of its size geographically, but population small is small, uh, the students can get involved with some of these commodity groups very heavily their research can be quite involved with the commodity groups. So that's an interesting aspect that some universities may not have to rely on. Uh, we are a little closer to the producers in the state than other universities may be. It's the way they can interact with these commodity groups is their research, they present their research to the commodity groups. It's, it's work that the commodity groups want to know about. For instance, Idaho is known for its famous potatoes. And so the Idaho Potato Commission is well known throughout the country. And so the students can present their research results at what we call our potato conference. Uh, so they can present results there and they can interact with the commodity commission groups that are there. It's a type of networking for them. So it does help for jobs after they're out, that they do have some potential to network and, and get their name spread out there. But we can do some very unique things here because we are a smaller university that um, other places can't. And I think we have some very good quality faculty in our departments. And our Department of Plant Sciences has some very good quality faculty. I think are quite good, quite interesting as well. <laughs>